Hello guys, welcome back to Epen Testers Club. Today we are going to discuss about CL0. So, what is CL0? It is a project for fusing HTTP 1.1 CL0 request for smuggling attack vectors. So now we would like to look how this will be worked out. Just open the terminal, type git clone, paste the repository. Now directly go to CL0 of directory. Now type list. So install the requirements. So it is successfully installed. So now you just type Python 3 CL0 dot Python. So here you got it. So basically we would like to know what is like HTTP request smuggling. In these sections, we will explain like HTTP request smuggling attacks that can describe how common request smuggling vulnerabilities can arise. Like HTTP request smuggling is a technique for interfacing with the way of website processing a sequence of HTTP requests that are received from one or more users. Request smuggling vulnerabilities are often critical in nature, allow an attacker to bypass the security controls and gain unauthorized access to a sensitive data and directly compromise other application users. So requesting a smuggling is primarily associated with HTTP forward slash one a request. However, a website that supports like HTTP two may be vulnerable depends on their backend architecture. Okay, so now we would like to do go CL zero minus u. U defines the URL, so you just give only URL here. So no problem, we just give u. So you define URL. And I would like to give a uh, config. Okay, so I will go for configs here minus C. configs default dot python so now let's see so it's requesting a base like http1 you can see here So it's keep on going on. Okay, so now we would like to look some other things. So just open a new tab. The same command which I would like to use. Sorry. So I just type Python 3 CL0 CL0 dot Python minus U paste dot. Sorry. I would like to mention my targeted domain test.php oneweb.com minus 
see. So I would like to only do on a single targeted attack. So I would like to use minus C. Uh, Torn pick default dot python. Sorry, configs default dot python. So I use here uh, skip skip. Read so it's skipping the reading. You can see here, it's still going on this way. So now just open new tab. So here from the same thing, I just type copy. Now you just type Python 3, cl0.python. So I would like to use like I just use skip read. A skip read means skip the read response of a smuggling request of recommended. This will save a lot of time between a request and ideal of the target with a standard HTTP traffic and last byte a scan method which last a request latency. So this I would like to use a uh, last byte for thing. So I would like to use last byte. Last byte. You can see here it's scanning the last byte scan and displaying the result. So here it is done. You can see here everything clear. So uh, we would like to know now if you get like a multiple targeted of websites. So how should you can do that one? So that's no need to worry. So for that. We just need to use from here, you can see here. So here you can see here file is available. So we just need to type a file and containing the multiple URLs. So we just create a file with the multiple containing the URLs. So you just type mousepad uh, urls.txt. And you just mention your targeted website, twitter.com, x.com yahoo.com bing.com like the box dot com try for bing.com so I just type save make it so uh, the same as it is so I would like to give here config and default dot python so minus f urls dot txt config default dot python so that's it I would like to get so now you can see here every information will be displayed but this will take a lot of time so you can see yes So what happens when an HTTP request smuggling attacks? So today's web application frequencies employ chain HTTP servers between users and ultimate application logic. Users send a request to a front-end server sometimes called a load balancer or a reverse proxy and this server forwards a request to one or more backend servers. This type of architecture increases common and some cases unavoidable in modern cloud-based applications. When a front-end server forwards a HTTP request to a back-end of the servers, it typically sends several requests over some back-end network connections. Because of this much more efficient and performed, the protocol is very simple. HTTP requests are sent one after another and the receiving server has determined where the one request end and the next one begins.
So here an attacker causes a part of their front end request of uh, interpreted by the back end servers and the start for a next next request. It is efficiency for pretended by the next request and so can interface with with the way of application process and request. This is the request for smuggling attack and it can have a divesting of results. You can see here much results we got it. Here also you get it getting much results. So you try it your own guys. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.